C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 5 entitled Math Magic 5 this is the chapter 1 part 3 page 10 some big big numbers in the class 4 math magic you heard of the number lakh which is equal to a hundred thousand you had read that there are about one lakh brick kilns in our country where bricks are made what other things have you heard of in lakhs write the number one thousand now write one hundred thousand so how many zeros are there in the number one lakh easy isn't it there are about two lakh boats in our country Half of them are without a motor. What is the number of boats with a motor? Write it. About one-fourth of the boats with a motor are big machine boats. How many thousand machine boats are there? Come on, try to do it without writing down. We might wonder about the number of people whose lives are related to fish. In all, there are about 100 lakh fish workers who catch fish, clean and sell them, make and repair nets and boats, etc. We also have a name for this big number. 100 lakh is called a crore. Where have you heard of a crore? What was the number used for? Try writing the number 1 crore. Don't get lost in all the zeros. Page 11. The Fish Market. Have you been to a fish market? If you have, then you might know why a very noisy place is sometimes called a fish market. This fish market is busy today. Many boats have brought a good catch. The fisherwomen are shouting out their prices to the buyers. Minnie, come here, come here, take sardines at rupees 40 a kg. Gracie, never so cheap, get swordfish for rupees 60 a kg. Floramma sells prawns for rupees 150 a kg. Karuthamma sells squid for rupees 50 a kg. Look, Fazila can hardly carry this big kingfish. She says, this fish weighs 8 kg. I will sell the whole for rupees 1200. To the right of this we see the picture of Fazila, who can hardly carry the big kingfish. And on the top of the page towards the left, we have a general scene of the fish market, where a fisherwoman is seen shouting her prices to the buyers for selling the fish. Practice time. 1. At what price per kg did Fazila sell the kingfish? 2. Floramma has sold 10 kg prawns today. How much money did she get for that? 3. Gracie sold 6 kg swordfish. Minnie has earned as much money as Gracie. How many kg of sardines did Minnie sell? To the right of this, on the bottom of the page, we have a picture of a couple of baskets full of fish. Page 12. 4. Bashir has rupees 100. He spends one fourth of the money on squid and another three fourth on prawns. A. How many kilograms of squid did he buy? B. How many kilograms of prawns did he buy? On the right corner of the page we see the picture of fish market. Many women are seen selling their fish. We also have a small girl at one of the counters. Try saying this fast. Here is a tongue twister. Repeat it fast. She sells seashells on the seashore. She is sure that the shells that she sells will be there no more. Women's Mean Car Bank The meeting of the Mean Car Bank has just begun. Fazila is the president. 
20 fisher women have made their own bank. Each saves rupees 25 every month and puts it in the bank. How much money does the group collect each month? How much money will be collected in 10 years? Practice time. Gracie needs money to buy a net. Jhansi and her sister want to buy a log boat. So they take a loan from their bank. They will return it with interest. A. Gracie took a loan of rupees 4000 to buy a net. She paid back rupees 345 every month for one year. How much money did she pay back to the bank? Page 13. B. Jhansi and her sister took a loan of rupees 21,000 to buy a log boat. They paid back a total of rupees 23,520 in one year. How much did they pay back every month? Earlier, women did not go on the boat to fish. But now, Jhansi and some others are going on the boats during the day. Things are changing now and their bank helps them. They have also got a special bus to take their baskets full of fish. There's a picture on the page with three women on a boat in the waters trying to catch fish. Why don't we start a new fish drying factory? The women of Mean Car Bank also want to start a factory to dry fish. The panchayat has given them some land for that. Over the years, they have saved rupees 74,000. They find out how much they will need for the factory. Fazila writes the things they need to buy to begin. Here's a table for the cost of each item and the number of items they want to buy. Find the total cost. Page 14 we see a table with four columns and five rows. The first column has the heading item, the second column price of each, third column states number of items and fourth column is for cost. The first three columns have been filled. You are supposed to calculate the cost of each item and then the total cost to set up the factory. Let's read the table row wise. Item, bore well for fresh water. Price of each, rupees 3000. Number of items, 1. Cost, dash. Item, bamboo rack for fish drying. Price of each, rupees 2000. Number of items, 20. Cost, dash. Item, cement tank. Price of each, rupees 1000. Number of items, 4. Cost, dash. Item, tray and knife. Price of each, rupees 300. Number of items, 20. Cost, dash. Item, bucket. Price of each, rupees 75. Number of items, 20. Cost, dash. After calculating the cost of each item, you need to calculate total cost to set up the factory which is equal to dash. Find out and write your answer in the blank space. When fresh fish is dried, it becomes one-third its weight. In one month, they plan to dry 6,000 kilograms of fresh fish. How much dried fish will they get in a month? Dash. Write your answer in the blank space. Floramma. Let us first calculate for 6 kilograms of fresh fish. We buy fresh fish for rupees 15 per kilogram. We sell dried fish for rupees 70 per kilogram. We dry 6 kilogram fresh fish to get dash kilogram dried fish. For 6 kilogram fresh fish, we have to pay 6 multiplied by dash, which is equal to rupees 90. We will sell 2 kilograms dried fish and get 2 multiplied by dash which is equal to rupees dash so if we dry six kilograms fresh fish we will earn dash minus 90 which is equal to rupees dash 
But if we dry 6,000 kilograms, we can earn rupees dash into 1,000 in one month. Page 15. They are all very happy with this plan. The group can make profits and each woman can get a salary for the work she does. Jhasi, I found that for 6,000 kilogram fish, we would need 1,500 kilograms salt every month. Its price is rupees 2 per kilogram. Monthly costs. A. Salt, 1,500 multiplied by 2 is equal to rupees dash. B. Packing and bus charges is equal to rupees 3,000. So, the total monthly cost of drying and selling the fish is equal to rupees dash. Fazila, that sounds very good. Our calculations tell us that every month our bank will earn rupees 44,000. Check to see if you also get the same answer. On the left side of the page, on the top and bottom of the page, we have two pictures. In one picture, near a hut, two fisherwomen are standing with their baskets and lot of fishes displayed for selling. On the bottom side, we have three women sitting close by with a basket and having a good chat. Find out. Songs sung by fishermen are beautiful. Find out about the words and tunes of such songs. Part 3 the chapter 1 ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in Production by Somya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India